Satnam. Good morning. Seems like it's a little crooked, but it's okay. Give you a couple of minutes to arrive and get settled. Um, slight modification in the time today. I'm just making sure we have good connection. Waiting for my little hearts to appear. <laughs> um, but nevertheless, we're on day 60 today. Oh my gosh. 30 more days till we hit our goal. And what a journey it has been. <sighs> Not easy, but so, so, so worth it. So worth it. Um, yeah, we're still climbing uphill. Uh, there is going to be resistance for some, not for all. Um, and it's really, I feel, is your approach to how you look at this practice. If it triggers you, if you're resisting, look into that. Look into it. Why? Why? I certainly had um, earlier this week and late last week uh, extreme amount of resistance. Why did I start this? I don't need this. <laughs> I have so much going on. How am I going to keep up? Uh, the ego loves to chat. The ego loves to throw. Um, Things that you, it loves to bring up crap from the past. <sighs> and it loves to magnify things, things that are seemingly small. It makes them really big. And so the discipline comes in a way that we look at it we evaluate it but we continue and we continue to show up for ourselves imagine if we were to quit every single time at anything that became just a little bit challenging uh, what we would achieve uh, i don't know i don't know but if you reflect back on your life probably there is more than a handful of situations where you thought you couldn't overcome something and you couldn't see yourself complete the project or whatever it was and then you did and then you did so um 60 days is not small it's not a small accomplishment it's it's huge commitment so here we go <clears throat> rubbing the palms together bringing the hands into the heart center Sitting up nice and tall. And let's take a deep inhale together. And exhale. Again, deep inhale, lengthening the spine. Pulling yourself up through the crown of your head. Physically elevating yourself. Exhale, allowing the shoulder blades glide down the back. Again, inhale deeply, lifting the chest, opening up the heart center. Suspending the breath at the top, gazing to the brow point. Exhale. And let's inhale deeply to tune in with Ari Mantra. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om
Suspend the breath, engage the mulavand. Hold the gaze, consolidate. And exhale and relax. Okay, so fists of anger. <clears throat> uh, nothing has changed <clears throat> in terms of how we're doing it, except that I like to do it now on the heels. I've tried it <clears throat> a couple of times. So if sitting on the heels, what's called rock pose, is available to you, I invite you to experiment with it. Uh, making sure that your feet don't kind of bow out. You want to try to hold the feet together and place your glutes firmly onto the heel. So there is a um, pressure point in the glutes that uh, this particular posture helps with digestion. Um, whenever your stomach is upset or you feeling extra flatulent, uh, this is a great posture to sit to assist the digestive process and to ease any uh, discomfort in, in the digestive tract. So uh, I've tried and tested and it works. Uh, your other option is the ginger and honey. So <clears throat> there we go. So a couple of refreshing points. My tea is too hot to drink and I am thirsty. A uh, couple of points. Focusing at the brow point um, <clears throat> O-shaped mouth with a breath of fire. Women on menstrual cycle or pregnant beyond first trimester will do long deep breath instead. Uh, our mudra is thumb is pressing on the pad of the pinky and then squeezing the thumb tightly, making the fists of anger. That's the name of the Kriya. Um, I like to gently hold the root lock so that it, it's, it's not about... Um, to me, it's, it's just my way of being present in my body. I, I don't typically drift off out. I don't have the out of body experience during my meditation and Kriyas, uh, but holding the gentle root lock is making it so much more uh, potent, I feel. So I invite you to try that for yourself and see if that's doable for you. Uh, and the last point is that we mentally chanting the mantra Hut. Um, every punch back is hut, hut. So as you're doing it, hut, 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 hut. Um, <clears throat> and at the same time, pulsing the navel in with the breath. <sighs> so as you exhale, you're pulling the navel in as if somebody just punched you in the stomach and you're kind of gasping for it, right? That's what happens. <sharp inhale> you're deflating. Uh, it's up to you. Um, the speed of the arm movements, okay? You, you might have noticed that I vary my speed. Sometimes I go slow, sometimes I go a little faster. And that's all part of my own experimentation that I do um, just to see what, what it would do. It's kind of like uh, tuning the instrument. If this is the instrument, we, we got to find how tight or how much looser we need to get our string. So I'm playing around with it constantly and never getting to it in a place of like, I already know it, this is how I do it. Every day I try to find a new way to do it or to do it better or to change things up. And I feel for me that provides an enrichment to the practice and I don't get bored. Uh, as a Gemini, <laughs> it's really easy for me to get bored and that's my own um, obstacle to overcome. And pushing this challenge to 90 days is definitely um, 
you know, part of the resistance is like, it's boring, <laughs> you've done 40, that's enough. Uh, part of the resistance is overcoming that boredom. And to overcome that, I just try to change it, changing it up. Sitting on the heels is one of them. Rotating a little bit over torso is another. Changing up the speed of the arms, that's another. Uh, adding the mental mantra hut is another. So, and in the process, I learn more about myself. So, without anything else, remember that at the end, when we interlace the fingers and we stretch the arms up and we take a deep inhale, you want to really lock your whole body really tightly, squeeze everything tightly. I can't uh, hold my breath and keep cueing, so I want you to remember that. That when I say hug your spine with your muscles is the back muscles. Tighten up the shoulder blades, pinch them together, squeeze the abs, squeeze the glutes, but don't shrug the shoulders up. Okay, the shoulders got to remain down. And you're pulling through the crown of your head, lengthening the spine. So it is the idea, the way I understand it, is that we're moving the energy from the root lock up, 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 up to the crown circulating. And when we exhale, it's a powerful exhale, like a cannon breath, what it's called cannon breath out. <sighs> so again, really pushing the navel in and deflating all the breath out. Okay, I think I've touched on everything, so just a refresher for everyone, and myself included. Uh, and here we go, we're gonna establish the breath first, get your mudra ready for expression and release. O-shaped mouth, and begin. Mentally chanting.
Here we go, deep inhale. Lock it up. Stretch up. Inhale, sweep your arms out. Bring them down to your lap. If you're in rock pose, you may gently switch to easy seated. But do your best to maintain this meditative posture. Let's take a deep inhale, a sigh or an exhale, a few more times. Take a little bit of water. I have noticed about myself that I can't, uh, <laughs> I prefer not to sigh out because it uh, sounds like a moan. <laughs> um, but it's okay. For some people, sigh is a deeper release than an exhale, so just honor what feels um, more appropriate for you and for your body, tuning into your own self. <clears throat> All right, resolving inner conflicts meditation. Um, What are inner conflicts? It's those things that you keep secret. Those things that you keep hidden. Your hidden aspects. And... You know? What can you come forth with? What can you come clean with? Um, sometimes we know it. Sometimes it's so deeply buried in the subconscious that... It takes 90 days of practice to uh, bring it up <laughs> and they may not come up so who knows um, so we'll begin hands at the chest thumbs are up remember to tuck the chin in so the back of the neck is relaxed and you want to maintain that straight spine imagine your spine being the back of the chair are you sitting on your throne? Heart is open. Let's take a deep inhale. And exhale. Beginning our breathing cycle. Inhaling slowly and deeply for five counts. Gazing to the brow point or eyelids closed. Nine tenth. Exhaling for five counts. Pushing all the breath out. And then keeping the breath out for 15 counts, staying in the 
total stillness with relaxed diaphragm and relaxed abdominal muscles and continuously pulling and elevating through the crown of the head. Continuing the cycle on your own. Whether you choose to count your breath or feeling more into the flow, creating a bigger space between the inhales, it's totally up to you.
ahead and complete your cycle. And take a deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale. One more time, deep inhale with the root lock. And shake the arms. Stay in the space, go within. Let's take a deep inhale, a sigh or an exhale. if you need to. So here we are with day 60 completed. Um, just wanted to remind you that if by some chance, because I have a little bit of uh, unpredictability coming my way in my life, uh, if for any reason I am not able to connect or do a Facebook Live, please feel free to watch any past days videos and do your practice likewise the youtube channel i'm uploading daily uh, the videos from facebook and if you if i miss i'm just <laughs> protecting myself but i'm trying to be very diligent about it um, but due to some whatever unforeseen circumstances if you don't see the latest video please know that it is totally okay to watch yesterday's or f whatever videos from the past and do this practice again. Uh, or the other alternative is to do it on your own. Uh, the, whole, the whole idea is to empower you to manage your own practice and to, to return to the practice on your own as if it was your medicine cabinet. Uh, so those of you who know me know I'm not big into the pills per se, but this practice is, I feel, is my medicine and I hope that you find it helpful as well. Okay, so last uh, point that I wanted to make is we are officially in the planetary alignments where Mars is going retro and what that means for you is to Take extra care to balance your energies, um, making sure that you don't tap out 100% and that you're running on empty. Make sure that you have healthy boundaries around uh, your extending yourself to others or to even to your own projects. Um, create a uh, space where you could just be and as I was sharing with my client yesterday the you time the me time is is not uh, going to a pool party or to the beach with your friends because that's not you time 
uh, it's, it's still a social, you're still in an energetic pool with other auras and other people and you're mingling. So balancing your energies happens when you are by yourself, in your space, without any external stimuli. No TV, Netflix, you know, no bottle of wine. I, that's not me time. Uh, me time is you sitting with you in silence if you'd like you could also do that in nature so this will be very important to do in the months to come mars is in retrograde until november 13 and we might witness a lot more unsettling things in the world and so it becomes essential that you stay grounded that you stay connected to nature that you uh, fuel your body with good clean nutrition, staying hydrated, uh, Epsom salt baths are really really good um, and again nature is the best uh, remedy if, um, if you have quiet secluded spaces where you could retreat that would be great uh, and then there will be an overlap of period with Mercury retrograde and Mars retrograde uh, and so um, they say God help us but I say we have to help us we have to help ourselves so that's all I wanted to share with you for today let's bring our practice to conclusion with sealing it with Satnam truth is my identity deep breath in first <sighs> exhale and inhale so so much for tuning in for joining for being flexible i wish you a wonderful rest of the day i'll see you tomorrow